YouTubers, um, still in my work clothes, still got my farmer's tan. Um, I've had great difficulty lately because um, there's something that God has told me to do. I've made videos about this in the past where I believe I heard God's audible voice say to me, go witness at an AA meeting. And I've had a great difficulty actually doing this, you know, forcing myself to do this. I don't know if it's fear or if it's what, but I've had a great difficulty making this, you know, forcing myself to do this, you know. But I just, I'm trying to determine in my mind that I'm going to a meeting in less than an hour. So obviously I need to get in the shower. Um, but just for this alone, uh, you know, there's so much more that I could say to you. Uh, I was falling asleep one night and you know that place kind of between being awake and being asleep, there's kind of that place in the middle where weird things happen. <laughs> um, I, you know, kind of fell asleep and I heard, you know, just open your mouth and I will fill it. You know, and I, I came across that verse. I don't have it right in front of me now, but, you know, Jesus said, don't worry about the things that you're going to say when you come before these people, the rulers, the kings, whoever, you know, because I'll give you wisdom to speak at that time. Well, you know, church two, maybe two weeks ago, I went up for prayer because, you know, I'm still struggling with doing this thing and I was praying to get delivered from the fear of it. Well, I got prayed for and then afterwards, I felt like I needed to say something. And for the first time I've been in that church, you know, I've been in that church over a year, they handed me a microphone. I'm like, okay. And, you know, I don't like public speaking, but I just kind of looked at the floor and looked up every once in a while and just spit out what I needed to say. But the Lord only gave me the first half of the first sentence. And what I said was, disobedience will make you miserable you know every time that I've had blessing in my life it's because I was obedient to the Lord but now that I've been disobedient in this one thing that I know I'm supposed to do you know the one thing that I've heard the audible voice of God tell me to do I haven't done and now I feel like my life is just a flipping disaster because of it so I want my walk to be restored and I sorry about that I tend to think that to get that I need to be obedient in what I've already been told now don't go starting some argument over well you're saved by grace and not by works that's true but this is my personal conviction and you know it's in my head all day long that I need to obey what the Lord has given me and that my walk is suffering because I haven't done that. So for you to say anything contrary to that, uh, sorry, the Holy Spirit trumps what you have to say. So, you know, I need to do what I've been told to do. But I was just praying, and this is what I opened up to, and this is what I request of you, because I'm going to upload this, I'm going to get in the shower, and I'm going to go jump into the fire, you know, go jump into the thing here. So, here goes. Uh, this is Colossians 1, starting in verse 9. For this reason, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of His will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. I know the knowledge of His will. You know, I know that His will is for me to go witness at an AA meeting. That you may have a walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing Him, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. That's what I need prayer for. That's verse 10. Strengthened with all might, according to His glorious power, for all patience and long suffering with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. 
Sorry about all this beeping throughout the video. Anyway, um, I have a lot more that I could tell you about, but I'm determined to at least get to this meeting so that I can be in the place where the Lord can speak through me when I open my mouth. You know, so this is this is more difficult for me than I can explain to you. I need prayer that the love in me becomes greater than the fear in me. Greater is he that's in me than he who's in the world. I hope to uh I hope to make some more videos here shortly. Uh, I have a lot of thoughts, but uh, I don't have to wait until next time. I have something to do.